finally got a better tripod for my phone. Better built than that last one I had, so I'm going to set y'all up and show y'all the other stuff I got in today. All right, I like this tripod better. Better than that last one, and this one go, can go up higher than the other one did. All right, let's see what we can dig out. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's see. First thing I got, got a new owl meter for the Craftsman GT. Y'all don't see it, so that's gonna be an upcoming video on how to replace it. And the first thing I did after I got this out, well, the second thing I did after I got it out of the box was check to see how it connected to the terminals. It's plug and play. And there's two red wires. One got a little silver tag on it, the other one don't. I'm gonna put them back exactly as I see them. I mean, yeah, you can swap them up. I don't know, but I don't want to find out the hallway. So that is a lot cleaner looking than the other one. Then from Parse Tree, I got two. Champion spark plugs, one for backup and one to install when I get my snapper 28 inch high vac mower back. Champion RN4C for overhead valve to come to the engines. That's what the country requires. I don't know if it's the same, would be the same as the champion overhead valve plugs for uh, bringing Stratton or not. But, like I said, I got these from Parse Tree. I called a day and the guy said, well, apparently they're going to be out for delivery. So, that's that. Put on the items. Put all that stuff back in the box. All right. Now, got my lawnmower blades. Yeah, lawnmower blades. That, you know, I got to have them. So without lawnmower blade, lawnmower ain't gonna cut nothing. Let's get the first box open. See what it look like. These should be the ones for the uh, GT. The mulching blades. Kind of nicely wrapped in paper, stuff like that. Oh, these are high lift. Yeah. All oh, these for the uh yeah, they're for the uh GT yeah. I don't matter they got them wrapped up in paper. But got three of them, and they have the good lift on it where it throws the grass out better. Yep, stands part number. Three four zero one four nine better blades. All right, those are those blades. Now let's see, these should be the other blades for the GT. Yep. All right, got them. Wrap real good in paper too. And I'll tell you what, Christmas time comes there so often when I do have the uh fun to get the things I need to keep my lawn care for my stuff and money.
good. They got them, they wrapped them real good this time. Can't remember how they were the last time I got them. But, all right, yeah. Same exact three skater blades for the Craftsman GT. So I've got one set already over there. Now I got this set. Then I have the other set. So when it's time to, you know, either put the new blades on and wait and sharpen, well, I'm going to sharpen these anyway. Get all that paint off. Get a nice, you know, sharp edge. But, as I said, have one set on standby. I've got many a set for the YS. But, like I said, you know, Gotta have blades, people. Gotta have backups. So, that's pretty much all I got today. I got a few other parts coming in tomorrow, but then I got another part coming in Monday. But Monday, I'm going to be going back up Tennessee to help with a drive up there. So, y'all have a great one, and hopefully I'll do a video tomorrow on how to replace the hour meter on a Craftsman GT tractor. I mean the amp meter, not the hour meter, amp meter. This don't have an hour meter. I wish it did, but it don't. That's got an hour meter, but when you replace them, then you got to remember what hours were on the old one when you replaced it, if possible. So, y'all have a great one, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side.